Hey, it's Chris and it's one week to release day. My new short story, The Watchers in the Dark, goes live on July 3rd at Jersey Devil Press. And I don't want to give too much away, but I will tell you the entire issue has a Lovecraftian theme. And we can talk more next week about what that means. In the meantime, if you're dying for something to read, you can always get my short story Toll Road for less than a buck anywhere finer ebooks are sold, including Amazon, Smashwords, and Apple. And if you sign up for my email list, you get a free short story that you can't get anywhere else. Links are down below. So I was going to talk this week about racism and Paula Deen and all that fun stuff, or maybe about the NSA and domestic spying and how no one in the Obama administration seemed to get the point of 1984. Big Brother was the bad guy, right? I mean, that is still on the curriculum. The president did go to Harvard. But something happened this weekend, and now that's what I have to talk about. A couple of months ago, Liz and I got to experience something nobody ever should. We got bed bugs. Yeah, I know. Gross. And expensive. And really difficult to get rid of. I mean, you can't see it, but behind me, most of our clothes are still in plastic bags. Yeah. So as part of this experience, I got to learn a lot about bed bugs, which are actually kind of cool, when they aren't hiding in your bed and sneaking up on you to steal your blood. I might put some cool bed bug facts in another video. But the thing I want to tell you, the internet about, is what happened with the hotel where we think we acquired said bed bugs. See, after Liz and I realized we had a problem, we did a really thorough inspection of our apartment, which is part of the extermination process. And we found bed bug eggs inside a suitcase we hadn't used since a particular trip to Florida. Since that bag had been stored on a high shelf since the trip, we were pretty confident that's where the bugs originated. So then we did a little search of this website where they keep track of bed bug reports and found that this hotel actually had quite a few. So Liz did her own review and mentioned the entomological souvenirs that we brought home. About a month after that, the hotel management responded to Liz's review. I want to read you a little piece of that. The bite that this guest exhibited was nowhere in similarity to that of what the guest is insinuating in their posting. And we even showed a photo to the guest of that. Although the guest eventually acknowledged that to be the case, nevertheless, hyphenated, the guest felt that we should give him some sort of compensation because they were bit somewhere out on the beach by a Florida sand mosquito, all capital letters. The hotel management and staff thoroughly inspected the guest room and did not find any indication whatsoever of any type of insect in that guest room. We are both a little astonished at this because it has no relation whatsoever to the truth. We never talked to hotel management about any bugs because we didn't even find out about them for a month after we left. They never showed us any photo or talked to us about the Florida sand mosquito or whatever and they certainly never inspected our room. The way I see it, either this place gets so many bed bug complaints they can't keep them all straight or they just fabricated a complete lie. So an important thing about bed bugs is they can turn up in any hotel, no matter how clean. So we don't exactly blame the hotel. It's not a sign of poor hygiene or anything like that. But it is important that management respond quickly and call an exterminator, or that bed bug infestation is going to spread fast. And considering how many bed bug complaints we saw online, and factoring in the response to our complaint, I don't have a lot of faith that this place is treating the problem the way they should, which might explain where it came from in the first place. Now you may have noticed I haven't used the name of the hotel, and that's because I'm just telling a story about something that happened to us. I'm not trying to pick a fight or complain about somebody who didn't treat me the way I think they should. But I'm sure you're probably wondering, so I will post a link to the review page down below. You can read and judge for yourself. So that's my story, and that's it for now. If you have feedback, or you want to share your own experiences with bed bugs or poor hotel management, I'd love to read that in the comments. I'll be back next week to remind you to read my stuff, so in the meantime, thanks for watching, thanks for thinking, and don't let the bed bugs stow away in your bag so they can sneak back to your place and drink your blood and lay thousands of eggs in your box spring.